What's up guys, uh, like Kevin here. I'm here back with another video. I wanted to make a quick little video about um, a product that I recently purchased. I haven't seen any videos on it online. I was really, I think there's like one video on it where this dude just goes really quickly. It was like a YouTube short or something like that. And briefly talking about it. I wanna go a little bit more in depth, but not super, super in depth. Um, maybe I'll do some sort of almost like a wear test of it, but today I want to talk about the advisory board crystal, uh, fans that just released. I believe this is the double check the model. It's the EV DNT EXT ulti. Um, this released a few weeks ago, like advisory board crystals is a brand that has been sort of like I would say sort of more on the unique side of streetwear and apparel and stuff like that, uh, where they do a lot of interesting, almost like organic raw sort of vibes, but also kind of mixing in that sort of like psychedelic, you know, like hippie vibes too, but kind of giving it a modern twist to it. So they recently, this is um, their first of three collaborative joints from, Vans, um, they've been working on it for quite a few years and I just got it in and I'd like to talk about it. Uh, this was a relatively limited release um, where Advisory Board Crystals was the only stockist for this pair. I don't know about the other two, but I know for this pair, it was only them. Uh, they did a handful of um, sort of promotional things where they put up posters um, in New York and they had people come out, like put their uh, like username, email, like all that stuff on the posters that they posted um, in order for them to guarantee their size. And then they also did a raffle as well, as well as a full collection. Um, they took it off their website for now, but I thought all the pieces from the collection were pretty sick. Very, very uh, like simple. I really liked the uh, like all over jacket that they had. Uh, I thought that was really sick, but I guess I should probably talk about the box really quick. It's a relatively simple box, but some cool details. So it simply says crystals in parentheses instead of off the wall, brown vans box, EVDNT, EXT, ULT. Um, this was quite limited, I would say, but the pairs on the aftermarket, uh, they're not going for very much, which is nice. They also have an iridescent uh, tape on both sides that says ABC, ABC off the crystals, off the wall. Um, open the box, I got my pair from GOAT. That didn't come with any other laces. Uh, it just came with whatever was laced up. So it's a pretty cool take on the Vans box. So let's go in into the pair of shoes themselves. I've worn this a handful of times already, but I just thought I'd give a quick look. Uh, so on the exterior side, a lot of this feels like almost like an engineered mesh. And it's sort of a hybrid between like natural materials with the suede on the toe box and a lot of synthetic material that is like pretty durable, pretty flat, as well as these almost like iridescent gems that are supposed to represent uh, like opals. I thought one of the coolest things, let's see if I can take it out, but the insoles are removable, but there we go. I'm gonna have to rip it out a little. But I thought the insoles were really, really cool. Advisory board crystals, ultimate waffle, which I'm assuming is the cushioning technology on the bottom, because this one just seems like a relatively simple cushioning. Um, and it has some cool, almost like shining gems. Uh, both sides have very similar detailing. I don't remember exactly if the print is exactly the same. Actually, let me double check. The print is slightly different, where the pair that I just showed you is a little bit more red, green, uh, while this other one is more on that blue side, I'm assuming, again, to represent that opal. But when they first teased it, I think the immediate idea that I had was, man, this looks like a crazy looking pair of bands. So they have some stability here in order for protection, also on the interior side as well. But this one, initially I thought it was going to be like an iridescent sort of like glow, but it's actually just like a printed um, color of it. I kind of wish it was a little bit more like iridescent, but that's besides the point. This ankle, there's actually, so 
This is my first four-way into this model. I've never had it before, but I'm quite surprised, I would say. Uh, the comfort level is quite there. Um, it's probably my most comfortable pair of uh, vans, I would say, that I've owned. It's very similar to the Comfy Cush, but the Comfy Cush is a bit squishier, if that makes sense. Well, this one still gives a nice amount of stability and a nice amount of uh, bounce back. Uh, the rubber that they use on the bottom is like very, very like sticky. So the grip is like amazing, phenomenal. Um, so let's go on the tongue. Vans off the wall, classic logo uh, with some rip stop with some green foam underlining it. Um, I feel like this detail is like iconic uh, on the Tom Sex uh, Mars Yard uh, sort of style stitching. Um, like I know that he isn't the first one to do this, but I think it's the most notable potential reference. There's also advisory board crystals on the heel. Has some iridescency. But yeah, just overall pretty cool shoe. Uh, like one of the things that I think made it unique that I personally am not a huge fan is that each toe is a different colored suede. I think it would have looked killer if they went with either one. I'm slightly more leaning towards the almost for it, not for a screen, almost like that dark olive instead of that light drab color. I think this would have been sick if it was on both sides. But again, I think it's just leaning into that uh, weird sort of psychedelic uh, style. This is a very unique pair of shoes. One thing that you also will notice, one of the key highlight features is this metal Dubray. So it is removable. You can remove it. Bam, it is removable. And this toggle is like relatively heavy, I would say. And it's a very unique feature. Not that many um, pairs of shoes have it like this, but one of the good things is that I pretty much, uh, like once I loosened it, I pretty much never had to tie these shoes like ever again, is that they're so stretchy and they're so easily slip onable, if that makes sense, that this is a very easy slip on, like ready to go type of uh, footwear. Uh, so again, I think that is one of the more unique features of the shoe is that um, like metal Dubray toggle thing. Sort of inspiration from a lot of those um, speed lock, like the Solomon shoes or, you know, the Yeezy like infinity lace. Uh, a lot of those where you don't have to tie your shoes necessarily. This is a great option. So. If you guys have been watching my channel, I'm normally an eight to an eight and a half. I got a size nine in these and I was worried that they'd be big, but they actually fit perfect. So I would recommend going up half a size because this is quite snug. So it was extremely snug initially. And then I loosened the laces a little bit so that there'd be less tension in the midfoot. I think that did me a great service. Um, I can wear these size nines comfortably. I would say there's a little bit of room in the length wise, but the width wise, I think it fits perfectly. So I'd recommend sizing up half a size. Another detail, I guess you can't really see it, but some of the product photos might be able to show it, but you see this iridescent print on the bottom. I thought that was also really cool. One blue, one red, matching the insoles. This has the blue insole, this has the red sort of insole and they both have those protective plastic i guess sleeves or stitched on plastic bits so yeah again super super cool shoe love the mixture of almost like an engineered mesh with natural materials as well um oh i guess another detail that i guess wasn't touched upon is designed by abc los angeles california on one, also the inside has sort of like a faux leather inside. I don't exactly remember if it was vegan leather or not, but, and here the other one is programmed and or produced and programmed with specific energy and intention. CLG 681067367080. So there it is. Oh, as well as crystals. On the other side of the Vans tag. They usually do that with collaborators where uh, I know for the double taps they had Vans and then they had double taps underneath. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I will do an on foot of these guys. I think they're a very unique pair of uh, Vans. I think they have a utility edge to them 
that I thought was really nice. I personally really liked the colors and sort of just the, I guess, overall like aesthetic of the pairs of shoes. Um, one of the things that I think I'm a little bit concerned about is whether the toggle laces will be able to withstand constant like stress points because you can kind of see on my pair and I received this maybe like a week ago is that there is a little bit of maybe micro tearing I don't know there's a little bit of loose stretch there so I'm hoping that maybe I don't know um, I'm sure normal laces would fit and work perfectly fine but I want to get another pair of these elastic laces just in case but yeah let me know what you guys think of the advisory board crystal EVDNT, I believe. EVDNT, EXT, ALT. Um, did you guys wear these? Do you guys like the style of these? Um, I know that they have two other ones coming out. I believe one is a skate high, or at least the tape on the skate high. I think there's three different colors of that one. Um, I think it would be really cool to see them work on uh, like a chukka or something like that. I think that'd be really sick or maybe even like a unique sort of um, Casual sort of shoe almost like a hydro mock type of vibe. I think that'd also be really cool But yeah, I think this is a great first entry into their collaborative line. So yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Peace